All right, the results are in. I've been on the highway for about 118.8 miles. I had used about a quarter tank. This, these are the miles I covered. This is the quantity of fuel I put in. Then calculated MPG. Check this out, 2008 Infiniti M45. I'm going about 70. Realistically, I'd say it's about 69, really. Seems to always uh, stick a little lagging or a little inaccurate when using cruise control. But so, 105 miles so far. I've used a little less than quarter tank. And I've got 355 miles left, dis DTE, distance to empty. So for people who are curious about, well, what's the mile uh, fuel economy of an M45, or because it's a V8, what can you get? If you're doing strictly highway and your speed is moderate, you could actually get really good gas mileage. Uh, so, because typically when I fill it up, you know, under normal driving conditions, when I fill it up, the distance to empty is at best 350 you know that's just city and highway mix and if you're the kind of person that clocks 100 miles an hour on your way to work in the morning every once in a while you could get uh, about 19 miles per gallon combined and um, well yeah my ride is actually quite a lot of highway it's one of those uh, two lane highways with stoplights so the limit is 55 but you could get run over doing 55 so but that's just an example the decent gas mileage what you could do is say uh, what's what's quarter tank I really can't remember I'm gonna have to do the math on that quarter tank of gas or actually what I could do is this once I, uh, I pull over once I'm done with my highway sprint I'm gonna go ahead and you know calculate how many gallons I've used up divided by how many miles of I've used up I did not want to reset that I mean I guess I could the fuel economy over there uh, doesn't really tell me it's under 20 which makes sense I get total combined 18 to 19 really in the winter it goes as low as 17 and right now it's actually so maybe 25 ish is what I'd say when I'm you know on flat ground even when I'm going up a hill it's not really bad it shows me uh, it's always above 20 and I'm talking about that progress bar right there this one right there that's the one I'm talking about uh, that shows you an instantaneous MPG so let's actually check the fuel economy record right there oh I reset it well oh, oops view that's what I wanted to do so 1819 is what I see that's the latest one you see that so again go back and I reset that so too bad it doesn't really give you a number so you just left to guess or estimate where it is so that's me going up a hill right now see it doesn't go under 20 on that progress bar the instantaneous MPG right now and I'll tell you what it's painfully slow I'm getting passed by all kinds of vehicles I typically don't drive like this I exercise the car quite often so to say uh, not to a level of abuse but I definitely am not the kind of person who's you know fighting for space with the truckers usually so yeah there you go man so right now with 352 and 109 it's telling me I could get 460 miles to to a full tank you know just about so as I said I'm gonna test it out once once I get a chance to stop right now it's telling me I'm about 24 mpg average fuel economy according to the middle one not this one so I'll test and uh, update when I get a chance to all right the results are in I've been on the highway for about 118 0.8 miles and usually you have to get in gas I reset that uh, I had used about quarter tank not exactly but again when I fill it up it goes way beyond the full mark trips me out a little bit honestly um, my distance to empty estimated at this point is 345 under 
I uh, maybe it will change because crazy that's the same number that was on there when I pulled up into this gas station the way I usually record my stuff is I record what it estimates is going to be left and after filling up I put that number again this these are the miles I covered this is the the uh, quantity of fuel I put in then calculated MPG which is some you know depending on the vehicle less accurate than what the computer actually tells you but since this one doesn't really give me any numbers it just gives you examples there but so it's accurate it seems exactly or really close to what I estimated the fuel mileage was gonna be so um, this is just a man with a lot of time to, to kill usually I don't I did not buy a V8 to watch the gas mileage but I was you know had some time and I was curious as to what what I could get so again I usually write the numbers as well this is for my own monthly budgeting $15 because uh, in Missouri right now premium is three point two five nine dollars so um, and as I said I just do that for budgeting I really don't do that to penny pinch uh, the only thing is that I live in Illinois and gas is usually almost always cheaper in Missouri so that's the only difference really all right, so well, start driving again. Get on the highway and see what the if the fuel mileage, the estimated distance to MT changes. But calculating at 23 miles per gallon, I think typically it will show you something like 340. We are back, and that's the last, latest or last addition to it. So so far, I've covered four miles. Uh, it was 386 just a moment ago. It's now 391. And, you know, the slower you go to a sudden level, the better your uh, MPG, the better the fuel economy your car will return. So, it's looking impressive, I'll say, right? If you look at that, uh, pretty good. Although, if you, if you notice, the average fuel economy is not very high right now. Uh, so, maybe 60. Well, actually, I was, I was in in town for a little bit so I was idling at stoplights for a while so that's why it's not really giving a very good number but I'd say we're doing pretty well it's estimating 400 I bet if I keep doing this if I actually drove at 60 miles an hour all day that'll be interesting I'll try to figure out what it can what can, it can give you just remember that your average fuel economy uh, that is by the time you fill up gas and by the time you come back home is actually a combination of you idling and you driving and if you turned on your car and you just sat idling all day you know at a stoplight and hypothetically until you ran out of gas zero miles per gallon that is what it is because again you've gone zero miles you've been at one stoplight or you locked your keys in your car or whatever the situation right so zero miles but you burned out all these gallons so that's just a mathematical uh, uh, relation at that point and as I said well AC has been blasting uh, all this time at a decently comfortable level uh, status let's go to the status button right it's not too crazy because it's pretty cool outside 71 um, but it's you know blowing cold air at the lowest fan speed so yeah again depending on how much power your car has and what you're trying to do but you can drive comfortably and get decent fuel economy out of out of your vehicles so again that's one of those videos that I make because I'm bored or had a little bit of time on my hands so probably won't be seeing too many of these maybe just one for the M56 just to see what the five, the 7 speed transmission will give you alright, enjoy yourselves